The living world has some amazing stories to share. Coral reefs are one of our most treasured assets. And with coral bleaching events happening more frequently and with greater intensity, it is critical that we understand exactly what is going on below the water's surface. Bleaching is also one of the most dramatic and easy to see changes sweeping across our planet's tropical seas. The dramatic colour loss associated with increasingly frequent bleaching events indicates that corals are under serious stress. We urgently need to know when bleaching is happening and must have more reef monitoring data. But there aren't enough scientists to see how all the reefs are doing and that's why everyone must get involved. Anyone can hold a reef watch expedition out in the field. You don't have to be a scientist. It's a fun learning activity for the whole family, a group of friends, a school, diving enthusiasts, or environmental groups. It's easy and fun. Coral Watch is an organization with a worldwide program recording data on coral bleaching. This is where you can help. If people around the world, like you, participate in the monitoring program, we can cover more ground. So we have the Coral Watch system in over 50 countries worldwide and in use by thousands of groups. And providing the scientists with real data uh, about the health of, of reefs. All you need is a Coral Watch chart and a waterproof data slate for recording your findings. You can get these tools from Coral Watch or Project Aware. The chart is an easy tool to use whilst walking alongside the corals, snorkeling and scuba diving. The aim of this activity is to monitor the health of corals using the coral health chart, match the colour and type of randomly selected corals to the categories on the chart, record this with water temperature and site details and plot the results. So here's a demonstration. If we take this green side, we can match it up to this green coral here. And immediately, I know that this coral, which is a, a B4, is relatively healthy. If I go for this soft coral here, uh, I can match this up to the soft coral side, and it's somewhere between a C3 and a C2. And that tells me that this coral is perhaps a little bit stressed. Back at the computer, you upload your findings to the website. The data from all the surveys are collated online in real time, so scientists can download graphs and begin to see trends. But schools and universities also have access to these charts. The program also offers a wealth of virtual tools for those who may not have local access to a reef. Your research goes a long way to help scientists answer many questions and to train future generations. Through monitoring, we will be able to create a picture of local and global patterns of bleaching and recovery. I started to work on coral bleaching and I suddenly realised that this was part of a huge global signal going through what I think is one of the most beautiful ecosystems on the planet. Coral reefs have essentially been the canary in the coal mine. The pace, the scale and the end point of climate change is so serious that we might lose a reef like the Great Barrier Reef within 30 years. But programs like Coral Watch enable everyone to do their part to protect our living planet. What we hope is that this will turn into a way of understanding the problems uh, in more depth. And importantly, it will give people uh, a focus on what is happening worldwide. To get started, visit www.coralwatch.org.